they've been trying to convince James Gunn to make the Matthew Reeves Batman part of his universe. Yeah, yeah. Which is like, why not? I, they need I like Batman. They gotta have some Batman. James Gunn had plans to make a different Batman for his universe. But, I mean, you gotta get a perfectly good Batman right here. <laughs> make him the Batman. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. Yeah, uh, Robert Pattinson, Batman. Except I don't think Colin Farrell wants to wear this suit anymore, so I don't know if they'd be able to use like the Penguin that they've done so much work on. Which is well, they don't have to use him. They don't have to use him. He doesn't have to do that forever. Just use Robert Pattinson, Batman. Yeah, yeah. as the Batman for the DCU. I mean, it can work. Come on. Yeah, we talked about. They showed that photo of Crypto last week. Did we talk about that? I think we did. There's a photo out of Crypto yeah people have talked about why isn't it this kind of dog why isn't it that kind of dog and james gunn is like um it's an alien <laughs> so he's totally. not really having it I, that why isn't it the right dog talk which i appreciate I about james gunn <laughs> i definitely love the idea of just having your superman just being really whimsical and silly yeah he has a he has a super dog yeah well there he is and on like, he's just a little you know, like, floppy eared fluffer I like it. You're Robert Pattinson, Batman, like super serious and dark and emo and watching them like come together because that's the whole uh, point of their relationship. Batman v Superman, they're complete opposites, you know? Yeah. So I would love to see that kind of dynamic come together. Yeah. My opinion, my opinion. Should be interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing what James Gunn does with D. Because I didn't, I didn't dig the whole Harry Cavill, uh, dark Superman, just like, oh, I'm, I'm Superman. It's like, yeah. I, it didn't, it didn't vibe with me. It didn't vibe with me. Instead of I'm Batman, it's I'm Superman. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Batman's already Batman, you know? Yeah. I would love just like a, kind of like a silly and whimsical Superman. Superman was kind of the Captain America of the DC universe, and he was always the good boy so they should keep superman being the good boy and the boy scout that was one of the things i hated about superman you guys lost me my eyes glazed over when you started talking superman Uh, we could do an entire episode on why i hate superman i i won't get into it but you know okay here's my best comparison of superman he should be like goku he should be like goku who is all powerful but he's really silly kind of ignorant about most stuff of life but at the same time he knows how to be righteous how to be just a good person you know and that's how i think about superman right and if Uh, he was silly about it like goku and now we're talking about japanese anime uh, goku was childlike even into his adulthood and when he had children yeah definitely so that's what I'm saying. Is just go. Yeah. Uh, Superman should just be very childlike, but there's that thing in him that says how to be good, how to be good-hearted, protect people. There's also something in him that says Kamehameha. His power, his <laughs> yeah. power level. Ooh-ah! Yeah, definitely. He's super powerful, and he knows he is, but he he knows like he's not gonna use it over people. He just wants to be. He wants to use the power to be good. He wants to use the power to be protect people. That's what I think about Superman. Yeah, that would be great. It'd also be great if Superman went super Krypton and his hair went blonde. Yeah, why can't Superman <laughs> turn blonde, though? Clearly Goku is more yeah. powerful. I'm pretty sure there's like a thing on YouTube. What happens if Goku fights Superman? Yeah. Oh, yeah, all kinds of speculation about it out there. And pictures I've been pulling up. Definitely. My money's on Goku. 